gives us a platform to come out here and speak our minds. When my son is sick, Seth lets me work from home. And Seth is so upset about the gender pay gap. He said he's going to start paying us 33 cents extra for every dollar the male writers make. <laughs> Wait, what? Serena Williams had a spectacular wedding. Woo! I saw those pictures and I was like, what? I cannot handle how beautiful this is. And then I was like, there had better not be a photo of them and their adorable baby. What? <laughs> then I was like, there had better not be a big family photo that shows how much they all love each other. What? <laughs> then I was like, well, as long as there's not a photo of Beyonce at the wedding. So there are two friends who just won Grammys. <laughs> okay, well, now, <laughs> now Karen, <laughs> I don't want just like a general idea of what's going on. I um okay, they're at the Grammy Awards. Uh huh. I think the show was two thumbs up. <laughs> this is Millie Vanilli. Does that mean anything to you? Truly, no. Oh wow. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna tell you something. Wikipedia, Millie Vanilli, because it's a pretty rad story. Okay. They won Grammys. Oh. And then they had to give them back because it turned out they lip synced. Oh no. Yeah. They That's had so different people. Other people gasped. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> and and Karen. <laughs> I'm trying. Karen, you might think I'm lying, but girl, you know it's true. <laughs> well, this looks like some sort of ancient text. Uh, yeah. This is a, oh my God, do anyone here know what this is? Yeah. Um, well, this looks like a, 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 like a Harry Potter. Yes. A, a Harry Potter, uh, like one of their school, a map of one of the schools? Yes. Oh my really? God, I know. yes. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's called the Marauder's Map. It's called the Marauder's Map? Yeah, and basically it's, it was made by Harry's dad and his three friends. Uh huh. Uh, okay, that's great. Thanks, Karen. <laughs> um, this has been What Does Karen Know? <laughs> But I don't like detention centers. Me either. They're inhumane. A living nightmare. And saying I don't like them is me exercising my free speech. But sometimes, when you use that free speech to express an opinion people don't like, they respond with racism. Been there. Happens all the time. And when I went on Twitter and tweeted, close the detention centers, do you know what someone replied? A well thought out statement that respectfully reflected their opinion? Nope. They sang the same old song we've heard a thousand times before. Go back to your country. Nobody's stopping ya. Go back to your country. Go back to Africa. These are two of our writers, Amber and Jenny, everybody. Hi. And I am not. So here's how this works. I'm going to read the setups to these jokes, and Amber and Jenny will read the punchlines. So here we go. Soccer star Megan Rapino recently appeared on the cover of Sports Illustrated wearing a dress and holding a sledgehammer. A dress and a sledgehammer, or as lesbians call it, business casual. <laughs> the world's first vagina museum is opening in London. Men are allowed, but they don't know what to do once they get in there. <laughs> Just sort, of, just sort of bang around, right? <laughs> hey, Seth, why don't you tell one? Oh, I don't think it's a good idea, oh, guys. come on, just one. I don't feel like this will end well. Please. Uh, oh, okay. Right. Okay. Today is International Women's Day. International Women's Day is like a regular day, but less rational. <gasps> How dare you? You told me it would be okay. You should be ashamed. You promised me black women and lesbians are liars! Look, growing up is hard, but immigrant parents make it even harder. They don't snow plow. If anything, they bury you in snow and give you a tiny shovel to dig yourself out. You know, to build character. 
Now, I came to America when I was four, and one of my first memories here was my parents sending me off without warning to the horror that is kindergarten. Huh. I remember kindergarten being fun and easy. For you, I'm sure it was, but I did not speak English, and no one there spoke Russian. Oh, yeah, that's different. <laughs> Well, Seth, that was the least of it, because my parents also wanted to make sure that I was not underdressed for my big day. So they sent me to school in what they assumed all Americans send their kids to school in, a tuxedo and a top hat. <laughs> That's right. I had to explain to the other children in broken English that I was indeed their classmate <laughs> and not a tiny cruise ship magician. <laughs> Also breaking records this year, the movie Get Out, which had a black lead and a black director. Could this lead to more films for underserved audiences? Allie. Seth, every time a demographic that isn't white male in 18 to 34 comes out to support something, corporate America is shocked. Why? We have jobs, we make money, and we spend that money. The fact that minorities are a powerful economic force shouldn't be a surprise. Well said. Amber? You know what's a surprise? This! Oh, oh my God! <laughs> this today. <laughs> the U.S. women's national soccer team won the World Cup That's this right. year. Yeah. And they did it. <laughs> and they did it while getting trash talked by Donald Trump. It was yep. amazing. It was inspiring. And to celebrate, I made this diorama. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so as you can see, here's the women's soccer team. Uh -huh. And they're like, we are very good athletes. And then here's a tweet from Trump. And he's like, I don't like you. Uh, yeah. And then Megan Rapino scored all these goals. And then she did this. Oh, look at that. That's very good. Uh, very nice. And then here's the U.S. men's team, and they're all at home <laughs> taking a nap, but they're getting paid eight times more. <laughs> okay, nice. The Alabama legislature voted yesterday to almost entirely ban abortion in their state. It's the most sweeping abortion ban seen in the U.S. since Roe v. Wade. Here to talk about it is one of our writers, Amber Ruffin. Hey, uh... Hey, Amber, what's, uh, what's going on? Well, I no longer have control over my own body. That's what's going on. I want to talk about abortion, but I have to do it like this. Yeah, but you don't live in Alabama. This law doesn't apply to you. No, but this is where our country is headed. So we figured we may as well get some practice. All right, well, so let's talk about it. Alabama's new law makes it almost impossible for a woman to get an abortion. You can't get one. You can't get one. No one can get an abortion. I mean, this is really serious, right? I know. And Republicans designed the bill to be challenged in courts so that they can try to overturn Roe versus Wade. It's a scary time to be a woman. I'm scared. I mean, I bet. I have a question. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yes? It if Alabama's gonna force women to have babies, are they gonna help them take care of them? No! Alabama has no paid family leave laws. What? I uh, know. I'm shocked! I uh, know! Then who's gonna help care for these babies and feed them and rock them to sleep? <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, you think that's how you rock a baby? <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm a man. We don't know this kind of stuff. Yeah, no <laughs> So what does it feel like to be a woman in America right now? I can tell you what it feels like. <laughs> it feels like you're not even a person. Like you've been stripped of your humanity. That you're not valued by the men who are elected to serve you. And it makes you wonder where you'll get the strength to fight the battles that need fighting. Wow, that's uh, really powerful. But um, well, why are you lying on the floor? Oh, my guy's stuck in traffic. <laughs>